All right, let's dive right in. You know, when most of us hear the word Tesla, we immediately think of sleek electric cars, but that's really just the surface. What we're gonna do today is pull back the curtain on a much, much larger ambition, an AI end game that goes far beyond just what happens on the highway. See, behind the scenes, there's something massive happening, a project that honestly sounds like it's straight out of science fiction, but it could fundamentally change our world. It's a plan that really redefines what Tesla is all about, and it all starts with one incredibly powerful idea. So here's the absolute key takeaway. Tesla's main focus, it's quietly evolved. They're not just a car company anymore. Not really. They're an AI company, and they are obsessed with solving one of the hardest problems out there in robotics and artificial intelligence. There's this huge gap between what we all see and what's actually going on. We see the electric cars, we see the batteries, but behind all that is a silicon powerhouse that's laser focused on advanced AI, humanoid robots, and even, get this, connecting the human brain directly to machines. And you have to understand, this isn't about making a car that can just drive as well as a person. Nope, Elon Musk's vision is way more ambitious. The real goal here is to create a vehicle that is dramatically, unquestionably safer and better than even the best human driver on their best day. And we're not talking about being a little bit better. The target is to be at least 10 times safer than the average human driver, a full order of magnitude better. An ambition like that completely changes the nature of the engineering challenge. The stakes? Well, they couldn't be any higher. In the world of autonomous driving, there is absolutely zero room for error. A single miscalculation, a single hesitation can have catastrophic consequences. So just making small improvements won't cut it. You need a revolutionary leap. So how in the world do you make a leap that big? Well, it all comes down to the brains of the machine. The absolute central piece of this entire puzzle is Tesla's very own custom-designed AI hardware. Okay, before we go any further, it's super important to understand what this actually is. An inference chip. It's not like the processors you find in a giant data center that are used to train an AI. No, this is the chip that lives inside the car on the road, making life or death decisions in a fraction of a second. Inside Tesla, the engineers actually have a name for this obsessive quest for perfection. They call it the March of Nines. And what it means is that getting to, say, 99% accuracy is one thing, but every single nine you add after that, 99.9, 99.99, is exponentially harder to achieve. This is the kind of insane reliability they're shooting for. It's a level of safety that requires truly superhuman speed and power from the computers, far beyond anything you could get with off-the-shelf parts. And that's exactly why Tesla had to build its own. And they've been moving at a blistering pace. The AI4 chip is what's in millions of Teslas driving around right now. The next one, AI5, is supposedly five times stronger. But the real game changer, the one they themselves are calling scarier in what it can do, is the AI6. Now, to really wrap your head around just how powerful this new chip is, we first have to talk about something Tesla just killed, their legendary Dojo supercomputer, a project they poured a ton of resources into and then suddenly, shockingly, just shut it down. Which, you know, brings us to the big question. Why would you just abandon a billion-dollar dream overnight? It seems completely illogical. Unless... Unless something came along that was so powerful, it made your own supercomputer totally redundant. And that's exactly what seems to have happened. The AI6 chip isn't just for making quick decisions anymore. It's reportedly powerful enough to actually train AI models right there on the chip. This is a massive leap. It makes Dojo unnecessary and gives Tesla total end-to-end -end control over its AI. So, this incredible chip is the key. It's a thing that unlocks a vision that is so much bigger than just cars. This one little piece of silicon connects all the dots of Musk's most futuristic and, frankly, wildest ambitions. This grand vision really has three parts, all coming together. You've got the AI6 chip, which is the brain. You've got the Optimus humanoid robot, which is the body. And then you have the Neuralink brain-machine interface, which is the controller. And here's the crucial link the very same AI brain that was developed to navigate the chaotic, unpredictable world of our roads, that's the exact same brain being designed to power the Optimus robot. It's what will let the robot see, understand, and learn in the real world, just like the cars do. And then there's Neuralink, 
which is moving from sci-fi to reality at a mind-blowing pace. The first human patients already have their implants. A paralyzed man was able to move a computer cursor just by thinking. The AI decodes his brain signals into action instantly, and their next audacious goal, restore sight to the completely blind. The ultimate vision here is this seamless link, where human thought processed by an AI directly controls robotic action. I mean, just imagine a factory worker controlling an entire fleet of Optimus robots with their mind, or a paralyzed person regaining their physical freedom through a robotic body. So of course, a vision this huge has massive stakes attached to it, for society and for Tesla itself. This is Musk's ultimate bet. It's everything riding on this interconnected AI-driven future. What's so fascinating is that Musk's record-breaking pay package, it's got nothing to do with car sales or quarterly profits. His potential path to becoming the world's first trillionaire is tied directly to achieving two what seem to be impossible technological milestones. The first condition is this. He has to successfully deploy and operate a fleet of one million autonomous robo-taxis roaming around cities all over the world. And the second condition, he has to successfully build and deliver one million humanoid Optimus robots working in businesses and even in homes. Only if he does both of those things is that trillion dollar prize unlocked. And this brings us to the final critical question. Tesla isn't just a car maker anymore. They are literally the architects of a new age. And as all of these pieces begin to fall into place, the AI brains, the robotic bodies, the brain machine links, we really have to ask ourselves, is this integrated world going to be a utopia that saves lives and unlocks human potential? Or could it become a nightmare, a future more controlled than we ever imagined? The answer to that is going to shape the next century.